Hi everyone, welcome to the new lesson. So today we're learning the basic chords, so we're starting with them. So, okay guys, so before this we were learning the blues, so we're learning. Go down. And we're doing the one, two, three, four lesson. This lesson just go as much as you can with the frets, go at least to the seventh fret. So if you don't know what's a fret, if you don't know the one, two, three lesson or the blues, check out the previous lessons, guys. So everything is there explained. Especially on the first lesson, you have where the frets, where the fingers that you need and everything. So uh first lesson is just about the third. second lesson, you'll see the fingers and everything. What you need for today's lesson. So I'm going to tell you a bit about the chords in general, what are you going to learn? So we're going to learn the basic chords, the barrier chords, and the riffs. So general, in general, now the first lessons are going to be the basics, only the basic chords. So I'm going to show you and tell you, well, how they go. So in general, do you know in music school and music in general, how you heard and learned about Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T? So that's how the notes go, right? So the notes they have their musical alphabet. So the musical alphabet goes C D E F G A and H. So that's how are you learning the chords. So you got seven basic chords how everything is starting. So in general you got more than a couple thousand variations of all the chords, but you don't need them all. It just depends on the music what you're playing and everything like that. So in general from all the seven basic chords, so C D E F G A H you're learning the major, the minor, and the seventh. So we're just gonna, when we're writing all the chords, I told you every time, just write all the chords that you're learning. Got on lesson number three, you got explanations uh, about the chords and everything. So you got like, how are you gonna read them when you're searching for them online and everything like that. So we're gonna, let's say, put the minors, so we're gonna put D and small m. The sevens, we're gonna just put D and seven, let's say. And the major is just gonna be simple D. So when I'm talking about the major chords, I'm just gonna talk D, C, and A, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna say D major, A major, and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna say D, simple like that. So let's say the first chord that we're gonna learn is gonna be D in general. So uh, we're gonna just, I'm gonna show you the chord. I'm gonna show you the second chord and then we're gonna do the rhythm of the chord. So the main thing for everything is just do everything really easy. So just go from slower to faster. Don't go too slow too fast because thing is you're just wasting time on it. I'm gonna show you why and everything. So the first chord that we're gonna learn is D. We're gonna we're gonna need fingers number one, two, and three. So I'm gonna tell you where to position them. So the whole chord starts from the second fret. So as you can see, finger number one goes on the second fret on the one, two, three, fourth string. Finger number two goes on the sixth string or the last string or first from above on the second fret. Finger number three goes on the third fret in between, so on the fifth string or the second fret string above. So now you put the D chord. So first thing, don't forget to put all the fingers in the middle of the fret. That's where the best sound is. So the D chord, what I told you, when I was explaining about the chords in general, how to read them. We have like some string that we're not gonna touch some chords. So for D chord, we don't touch the first or second string from above. And the third string, that's the bass string. So this here, this string here is the bass ring of the D chord. So, where you put your fingers, always test are the fingers put right. And you play it from, I told you, the bass string to down. So you're gonna see probably this finger is gonna go a bit down, and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is how it's gonna be in the end right to put your finger. So you'll see your left and right arm now. Basically they're doing some positions that they're not used to doing 
in general life. So what are they doing? Basically, they're always holding something, you're reading something, or maybe writing something, maybe holding the remote control, something like that. So now you're putting your fingers like this, 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 this. They're not used to the position, so they need to relax. Both hands need to relax this. This with the position, and the right hand for me, right? On the rhythm. So you can be right or left, depends on you. On the rhythm. So first you see with the rhythm, your hand's gonna be probably like this standing. And you see. And then more and more, let's say, see when I play. See, guys, move right now. So your hand's gonna get more and more relaxed by time and go to this position. And then you'll know it's gonna relax and it's getting the rhythm in the hand and everything. So it's gonna be a normal thing. So let's put it all back together. So let's check the chord. So probably your fingers are gonna go a bit down and everything. So just try to keep it up. See how my hand is. See I can literally it's always gonna be a space where I can literally put a finger if you go down. You'll see on the E chord that we're gonna do later how my finger goes down and everything's gonna be really important. I'll show you why. So you'll see, so I told you, check the chord and everything. You see, everything is good, great, great. So two things can be wrong if you don't hear, hear, uh, hear the sound good. So first thing, maybe your fingers are not in the middle of the fret. And second thing is you're not holding the string tight. So you need to press harder probably. Because if you hear, then you're not holding it hard as you should. As you should. So just squeeze a bit harder, and that's that. If you have metal strings, it's gonna hurt a bit, but that's normal, I told you. Just the process goes like that, it's gonna hurt in the beginning, and that's that. If it hurts too much, just stop, press your hand for a minute or two, five, how, how much you need, and try again. And that's that. Always take a rest, don't pressure yourself, don't go too hard. Just take it easy. Because, you know, nobody's holding a gun and telling you you need to do it, no. Easy, relax, you need to enjoy this, not suffer all the time. <laughs> okay, so we got the D chord and now we're gonna put the A chord. So A chord, we're gonna need again finger number one, two, and three. We're gonna put all of them on the second fret. So here, we're gonna put all of them. So finger number one, we're gonna put on the second, uh, no, on the third string. Finger number two on the fourth string, and finger number three on the fifth string. So it's gonna be a bit hard to put them all together in the middle, how I was telling you, right? So just try to put finger number one and three a bit before the beginning on the frets. And then you should hear the sound. So the bass the bass string from for A is the string above finger number one. So this here is the bass string. And this is where the finger starts. So what are we gonna do? So again, your finger can be a bit low, so you won't maybe hear the last string. So again, what you do, you first check the chord. So the bass is good. Probably gonna be like this, then this, then you just need to move your hand like this. So if you get here, then it means something's not good. That's good. So it can be a lot of things. So you can maybe be blocking it with this, this, and you need to go a bit more. So what I told you, always it's gonna be one finger space there when it goes correctly. Check the chord, the chord is good, great. And now we have two chords, we have A and D. So A, I told you, start from the second string to down, because that's the bass. D, you start from the third string above to down. So now we're gonna do the basic rhythm. So the basic rhythm is up, down, up, down. So we're gonna do two times. A, up, down, up, down, then go to D, up, down, up, down. So the main thing is to leave the sound a bit. So I'll show you. So. So, 
See how I'm leaving the sound, so don't do Then search 10 minutes In the beginning it's gonna be searching for the chords Is it good, is it right and everything That's normal It's gonna be a bit harder and everything But when you get everything right See the chords are getting good So let's try to remember them as soon as possible guys It's gonna be easier for you guys That's the thing So try to always leave the rhythm, leave the sound Go. So why? See how I'm leaving the sound, and I have time to put it on D. That's the thing. So the whole sound blends in. Just go as simple as that, try to leave the sound a bit, it's helping you, it's giving you time to put it on the second chord. So let's have that in mind, the sound is a helper for you guys, so it's helping you put the chord right back. So you see when you're making a song, right? So there's no 10 minutes of waiting is it right or not and stuff like that so that's why it's really important to leave the sound to let the whole sound blend in because that's how this whole song goes or stuff like that so okay now we know a and now we know d right so now we're gonna learn e so the e chord again we're gonna need fingers number one two and three so for the e chord uh finger number one goes on the fourth string see one two three four on the first fret and now finger number two and three are gonna go on the second and third string on the second fret. So finger number two, the middle finger, goes on the second string on the second fret, and finger number three goes on the second second fret on the third string. So the bass string for E is the first string. So this is the bass. So I'm gonna start from there and go down, check all the strings. So when you do all the check strings, you pass the chord always. So what's the thing with this chord? Probably the last two are gonna be. So that means the fingers are going too close to the fret. You need to go with them a bit like this. So I told you, it's always gonna be space for the whole finger for me so that's gonna be probably the danger with the score always last two strings are gonna be good so that's why you check okay so now after you checked all of it now you're gonna practice with a and e right so again two two times up two times down right so with A, now with D, okay, so what's the thing, so now you have E, A, and D, right, so E, A, and D was the thing, so now just pass them all together. So pass E with A and backwards, of course, from A to E, E and D, backwards from D to E, A and D, D and A, right? And then try to combine even all three of them. So try E, A, D, D, E, A, stuff like that. So try to do all the combinations with them so you can all practice them all together even. Because three of them together can make a song. So when we finish the whole thing with the basic, chords and everything we're gonna do the combinations with them so what's the thing gonna be the thing is gonna be that uh, I'm gonna put some combinations with them all together first lesson is gonna be just uh, how to do all the combinations and everything and then the next lesson is gonna be in general uh, all the combinations together so what's the thing so I showed you now how to do the rhythm with all these chords I'm gonna show you how to do with the fingers with them 
So I told you, you start from the base and you go down. That's how to finger pick all the chords. So try to do, let's say, take only your thumb and the second finger on the right hand for me, or you can be right or left, depends what are you. So just go like this. For E, the bass ring is this. For I told you the first ring. For A, the second string is the bass. So always go from the bass to down. So just go like this. So we went to the fifth string, and now we're gonna go the last three strings with number two finger. So what we did, we went down from one to five string and then went with the last three up. So that's what we did. So if it's hard maybe to do with both fingers now, do everything with the thumb only. So we did E, now we're gonna do A. from the bass to down. As you see, I just go with the thumb now. Only the last three up, only the last three. And then do E and D, of course. So what we learn now, to do the rhythm and do with the fingers now. So every chord we're gonna do the fingers and the rhythm together. Today's lesson is a bit longer because we got three chords and we did all three of them with the finger and the rhythm. So uh, next lessons are gonna be a bit shorter, not too much but a bit because it's gonna be explaining and everything. So I told you at the, end, at the end of every lesson I'm gonna show you the chords written. So I told you just write all the chords together always. So. You got them all written here, watch them, so you do them too. So as you can see you got the X on the D and on the A, so the X is marking the strings you don't do. As you can see these lines here that are more, see here, and on the A, so they, they are making the bass lines. That's how you know which is the bass and where do you start the chord to down. Again, if you don't know how to read this, lesson number three. Okay guys, thank you a lot. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something now. Hope it's gonna help you a lot. So, next lesson, new chords. And so you're gonna have more combinations later. Okay, thank you a lot and enjoy guys.